guys welcome back to my channel for another video today I am bringing you guys a back to school haul as well as um, kind of how I do supplies which is another thing on the back to school preparation checklist that I have provided for thousands of you guys for free on my website which is linked down below it's never too late to start if you're like Oh my gosh, I'm so behind. Ashley's been preparing all summer and I just haven't done a single thing. You could knock out a lot of these in multiple days um, and have full days. I mean, you would have to work a little hard, but it can be done. I just did not have that ability. I had to do it kind of slow and steady just because we were going to be gone for pretty much the entire month of July. And I wanted to come back in August and start. And I knew that I wasn't going to have time to be running all over and cleaning all the things and doing all the things. So we are headed to Walmart to get school supplies. I made a list. Can I just encourage all of you guys to make a list of what you actually need? I am a stationary person through and through. I love paper. I love pens. It just, there's something about it that I really love. And a lot of my kids are the same exact way. So we will walk into the back to school section. Um, and also side tip I like to go before public school starts shopping or after. So if you can work that out, I really recommend that. We're gonna go early so we are not picking through leftovers um, because in actuality, we really don't need that much. Now, so back to what I was saying, inventory your homeschool room. One of the greatest blessings of homeschooling is only needing to buy what you actually need for your kids. You're not spending hundreds of dollars for communal supplies that your child isn't even going to touch or use um, or you know the parents who buy often buy because the majority of parents don't and that's a whole nother system and issue for another day but um, I, I just really always appreciate that last year's back to school haul was a pricey one and that's because I needed to buy another laptop computer um, this year I I don't need to do that next year I probably will so this Everyone's gonna need a laptop eventually, um, but we're gonna make do with my two high schoolers having laptops to use, and then my son in the eighth grade can use my desktop when needed. My youngest daughter still is not doing much on a computer as far as curriculum goes. So this haul will be very, very minimal, truly just the things that we need. I don't buy things that we don't need that we're not out of, um, so. I'm gonna head to Walmart. That's where I'm doing back to school supply shopping um, this year. And I have my list, which I will show you guys. And so we're gonna be able to check off a few more things for getting prepared to start back to homeschooling, having the supply areas all cleaned out and new ones added in and everyone having their um, desk drawers filled with the things that they need. So let's go to Walmart. All right, you guys, we got back from Walmart and I took my list. Here's my list. Make your list. Um, and we did get a few things that were not school related like dog food, a new hamper for our travel trailer. Um, I'm trying to see. But I think the rest was school supplies. So I would say we spent around $150 on school supplies at Walmart, which is actually really good considering I have four kids. So on average, I guess that would be like $35, $37 a kid, which is pretty good. Now, like I already told you guys, with homeschooling, I only need to buy what I need. So we didn't need a ton of stuff. The only thing that I think that I'll still need to buy are some what is some watercolor paper, which I'm going to get from Hobby Lobby at a future time. But I wasn't going to put off doing this haul just to show you guys some watercolor paper. So this is everything that we got for school supplies. I'm going to start off with showing you guys um, the notebooks. Each notebook, spiral notebooks are probably the thing that my kids go through the fastest. So these ones are college ruled 100 sheets and they were like a dollar something or other. I'm not going to show you how many we bought because each of my kids picked out five. So we got 20 of these notebooks. They had like different colors. Um, so everyone will be set for notebooks. My older kids especially really fill these up 
In fact, last year, my daughter who did biology filled up three of these front and back taking notes in her biology course. So everyone has five and so we're set, but I wasn't gonna show you guys 30 notebooks, just know we got 30 of them. The next thing that I got at Walmart were a few binders. I like to get uh, the two inch one for unit studies like from campfire curriculums and different things and I like to save those units because I think those will be things that I come back to. Um, and anyway, some of them have multiple units within one and so um, I wanted to get a few more of these. So I got a white one and then I got two black binders the same size that are over there. So three binders. Um, what else do I have to show you guys? Oh, I did grab more notebooks. I meant to only grab the five, <laughs> but here's more. So tons of notebooks. That's our most used school supply for sure. Um, I let my kids pick out what pens they wanted to use. We are beyond the ages of only using like regular lead pencils. They love paper mate pens just like me. So we got black. Um, we needed a new compass and protractor set, so we got that. I needed some new dry erase markers, so I got these ones, these extra ones. We got a few additional pink erasers. Then my, I think this is for my oldest daughter. She chose out these erasers, probably because they were just cute, but I love getting school supplies, so I'm totally fine with that more paper mate black flare pens um then in this bag they each got a new pencil case so this one was so cute i would have absolutely loved this in fact i kind of do love it right now um this gummy bear one she got so that's for my oldest daughter my boys picked out uh super mario so we each got one of those and then my youngest daughter got the Squishmallows pouch for hers. I just got a few new glue sticks um, for these we use especially for the Good and the Beautiful Science units. Um, some additional lead for the mechanical pencils which are all kind of community property. Um, this is something I got off of Amazon so this was not included um, in the Walmart haul. These were, I think, 18 each on Amazon, and I'll link them down below. These are my kids' uh, favorite calculators for pre-algebra all the way up to Algebra 2. I've purchased other ones in the past, and then they ended up trading with one of these. So finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy you each the calculator you guys like to use. They didn't like the other versions of, they were all, you know, algebraic calculators but for whatever reason they like these ones the best and this works for pre-algebra all the way up so each of them have one now so got those off of Amazon I'll link those down below for you guys we also got some plain black dry erase markers that have an eraser on the end so that is there my youngest daughter picked out this large eraser for fun um, we got my son likes these Sharpie pens um, because they do not smear. So he got those more paper mate black pens. My oldest daughter wanted those. Everyone got a new highlighter. We needed a couple of those. And then a bunch of mechanical pencils that will disperse amongst the group. Um, two things of highlighters, I'm sorry. So that is what they got there. Then this is from Barnes and Noble. Uh, I made a stop there after. So this is for 2024, but it's a national parks calendar. And so I got a new calendar to hang on our wall in our schoolroom um, when the time comes. So I also grabbed that. So that is everything for school supplies. I'm super thankful that this is a lighter year on the school supplies. Next year, I probably will have to add another laptop to this. And of course, as we go throughout the year, as we need things, I can buy them then. But this is what we needed to start off our new school year. And um, so I'm happy to have this checked off. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this back to school haul, give me a thumbs up. Let me know where you're going to get your school supplies. 
I feel like Walmart always has the best prices and I was glad that I went ahead of public school because we had like, there was a lot there. It wasn't leftover pickings. I know a lot of homeschoolers will shop after though because it does go on sale, which is a great idea, but then you're kind of left to um, not necessarily get everything exactly like you want it. So glad to have this checked off. It's another thing before we start back to our homeschool year and a few little fun things thrown in there for my kids. One more thing I wanted to say in this video. So I do get my kids um, each one new back to school outfit. And the reason for that is because they don't need summer clothes. Where we live, it is warm from like April to October. And so they get a lot of summer clothes in the spring. So they don't need another summer outfit. So rather than buying them stuff they don't need, I will wait until we need to go fall clothes shopping to do like a lot of clothes shopping. However, I know how fun it is as a kid to get a new outfit to wear back to school, take your first day of pictures, and it was something that I've wanted them to have that experience of doing. So I did get them each a new outfit. We got, we went to American Eagle, we went to TJ Maxx, and we went to Tilly's. Those were the three places that we went. Um, everyone's feet recently grew, so everyone already had new shoes. Um, so my son was the only one that actually needed a new pair of shoes right now because I literally just bought everyone's shoes from their feet growing maybe a month or so ago. So I don't do a ton of clothes shopping. I will wait until fall is coming and they actually need like jeans and sweaters and things like that and so we'll do a bigger shopping then but i do get them one outfit and i make them wait to wear it they're not allowed to wear it until the first day of school so that's just how we do it it's a fun little thing so i wanted to mention that here in this video so that's it guys back to school haul i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one